In this short tutorial, I will show you how to set up and how to use Visitor Module correctly. So first of all, go to Configuration and choose Visitor Module. Then you can set up a couple of things, for example, Automatic Visit. Automatic Visit change the status from the appointment to a visit on a selected reader. For example, you have a person with a QR code who is coming in the building. Once he scanned the QR code on the first device, his status from appointment to on visit will be changed. Exactly opposite is with automatic leave. You can set, it up, set up this as well. Default visitor permission. We don't want someone on the reception or on the mobile phone to set up some of the doors all the time. So we can pre-set up everything. So like make something like default settings for any visitors. Of course, if someone enters the building, this can be changed. I'll show you how in a second. So let's say, okay, I will choose this QR code reader. I will choose a couple of other things on access control. For example, this two door, two way controller and so on. And we can continue. In case you have here also the entrance and exit module, this can be added as well. Then we are going to email template. What is the email template? Of course, first you need to connect the DSS with your email account, either Microsoft Exchange or your Gmail account. I already created a video for that. Then you need to, of course, enable that. There is something which is already pre-typed, but of course you can change it. Uh, for example, uh, a visitor appointment is created and this email is sent it to visitor uh, park your car on Dahua parking lot. So whatever you want to send him some, uh, some, some information, some message. Of course, then you can enable also visitor appointment host. So what the host will get, let's say I have a secretary and the secretary will create the meeting for me. So I will get the information, dear Roman, your visitor is arriving at that time and so on and so on, pick him up. So again, you can put something, some information over here and also add some of those uh, index over here. Then a visitor arrival. So what email I should get? So the host, which email the host should get when the visitor arrived and what email I should get if the visitor leaves. Once you set up all of those, click save. The last thing what we can set up over here is the visitor pass remarks. So for example, welcome to Dahua and click save. Now we are going back to home position and we are going to create a visitor. So we go to access management and we go to visitor, visitor management. First, I told you we have an appointment. How you can create appointment? You can do it in two ways, either on our DSS Agile 8, a mobile application on your iOS or Android device or via DSS client. So now I will create one over here. So host name, for example, Peter, Peter is inviting someone. Host email address, so he will get the notification. Then visitor name, Paul, let's say. I can put the visitor company and so on and so all the details over here. Very important is also the email over here. Plate number, if he's going to enter the parking lot. And of course, when the, uh, when the meeting is scheduled, so we can schedule also something in a hat. If we go to authentication, you can generate the QR code for the visitor. Here is the remarks which we created, welcome to Dahua. And here is the QR code. This QR code will be sent to visitor automatically once the appointment is made. You can also download it and print it, or you can send it directly from here to a selected email address. 
and authorization as you know we pre-authorize some of the doors and also the entrance and exit module for our parking lot because we put over here the details the plate number of the visitor so the gate will open automatically for him and just click OK automatically the person is on the appointment so just close this you can see two people are on the visit and one appointment is made. I also already received the email with the appointment as you could see. Dear Paul, congratulations, appointment has been confirmed. Are you visiting blah, blah, blah. And here is the QR code I was talking about for the visitor. Once the person will scan this QR code, he's getting in. I can also tick him in over here. And the status will change afterwards from appointment to visit. What we can what we can do over here, we can go to authentication and we can add him also the card. So let's say some of the doors are using the regular reader for my fair cards. So now I will add one of the cards. Invalid card. As you could hear, right now it's invalid. I will add to this visitor. I can add him some additional door if I want once the person arrive into the building and click OK. His status changed from appointment to on visit, as you can see over here. Now, when the person will go around some of the doors, he can open them. Access granted. As you could hear, access granted. So everything is working. I can all the time check the status where the guy last time checked the card, where he last time swiped the card. So I have a control where are my visitors. On the regular email, I already received the other emails which we set up over here in email templates. So let's have a check. You can see already, dear Peter, Paul will be visiting you at that time. Reason for visit, I didn't put anything over here. So I just got this information, pick him up. Of course, my visitor already swiped the card. So you can see over here, dear Peter, the visitor Paul has already arrived. So all those are actually automatically generated email based on our setup. Once we go back to access management, we can also end up the visit. Either we are going to use automatic leave. So when the person put the card on the last turnstile or some access management system, or the receptionist can just take him over here. Okay, end of the visit. Okay. You can see that also the number over here changed from on visit from three to number two. So the receptionist got nice overview how many people are in the building. Of course, in a few seconds, Paul, or let's say me, I will receive the email that the visitor has already left. Okay, here is the email that the visitor already left. Dear Peter, visitor Paul has already left. So that's how our visitor module works. Thank you very much for watching.